Hey guys, Matt here. Um, in the last few days, the United States government has passed a law which allows uh, all your ISPs out there across the land, across the United States, to, con to collect uh, personal data um, on your connection. So whenever you open up any website, um, doesn't matter if it's a website, maybe you connect to some kind of web service or your refrigerator connects to something or your, your doorbell connects to something, your ISP can now see all that information and gather it up and sell it to people. They can sell it to people or they can force ads down your throat. Um, they can do whatever they want with it now. It's, it's perfectly legal. So, um, you're going to get very familiar with two things. One is something called HTTPS. That is a secure way to browse the internet. And the other one is a VPN. So I'm going to show you how to set up both right now, tonight, very quickly and easily and for free. Let me give you a sample of a site that is protected. So if we load up a uh, US bank, bank I use, you can see it's got like a little green thing here and the address, if I, we click on this address bar is HTTPS for secure. That S means secure. So communication from my computer to them is encrypted. No outsiders can see that. It's just the data is just not there for them unless they have a decryption key which you know the government may or may not have well, who knows that's all up in the air but you want to go to websites that are https uh that they're encrypted so if we go to something like a blog like my blog remove my old blog Dash malware.com. Sorry, I can't type sideways. Malware.com. Um, my site is not encrypted. So whatever you're typing in, if you write me a comment or you're doing something, you know, texting with me on here, instant messaging with me, all that stuff is in plain text. Somebody on the other end can read all that stuff. All right, so there you go. There's HTTPS and non-HTTPS. Okay, so what about if you want to um, go browse the internet completely encrypted all the time? It, you're always hidden. Then you're going to need something called a VPN, Virtual Private Network. Um, so for this tutorial, we're going to use a different browser called Opera. So Opera has a built-in VPN and an ad blocker as well. So we'll just go to opera.com and we'll go to browser download. Download now. We'll go ahead and accept and install. Save. It's a really quick download. Run it. <clears throat> Opera is an older, older browser. It's been around for, um, man, I've, I've been using it a long time, maybe 15, 20 years? I don't know, long time. All right, so now we're inside of Opera. Let's go ahead and close that. And we're gonna go ahead and set up a VPN. What this is gonna allow us to do is pretend that we are located in another country and all of our communication is encrypted. So we'll go ahead and click this little cog. Um, we'll go to browser settings. We'll go ahead and block ads because we don't know where ads are coming from right now. They might be malicious. And then let's also go to uh, privacy and security. 
and we'll go ahead and enable VPN. Now, you can learn more, you probably should read that, and you should probably read the terms of service. This proxy is provided by SurfEasy Incorporated. I have no idea who they are. They're based in Canada. They're outside the United States jurisdiction, which is nice. Any VPN that you buy should be outside the United States jurisdiction and probably outside Russia and China as well. Uh, because for some reason they just want to pry into your life and I have no idea why. It's really annoying. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and... So we've enabled those. We can go do a uh, test and hang on, let me pull up that website real quick. All right, the uh, website I was trying to remember was IPLeak. So IPLEAK.net. Now it says your IP address is this. No, I'm not in district I'm not in the District of Columbia. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. So it makes my communication look like it's coming from the District of Columbia. Um, I can also choose other countries. Maybe I'm just not comfortable with browsing from um, the United States. So we can choose my optimal location and set it to maybe, you know, the Netherlands or something like that. This is a very basic VPN. It's free. I would do your research um, and I'll see if I can find um, some more VPN resources out there, some comparisons. But do your research and figure out which VPNs uh, are out there, how much they cost, um, which countries they're located in. Like I said, I would avoid the United States, uh, Russia, China, and, and go for something outside of uh, their jurisdiction because they're just intent on spying on us um, for some stupid reason. I don't know. Anyway, there is one other thing uh, that I wanted to show you. There are little extensions that you can add to Chrome or you can add to Opera, and that is called HTTPS Everywhere. It is just a little uh, add-on that allows you to kind of enforce HTTPS if you feel like it. We can install this on Opera or Chrome or Firefox. We'll go ahead and add to Opera. So automatically enforce HTTPS, uh, HTTPS uh, communication between sites. Um, you know, if they offer it, we want it. So basically that's my extension there. To use this extension, click this icon. Uh, enable HTTPS everywhere. Uh, you can block un unencrypted requests. A lot of websites won't load if you do this. If you're super, super paranoid and all you do is go visit HTTPS websites, then go ahead and say block unencrypted requests. But at this point, you're probably thinking, okay, this is nice, but the VPN encrypts everything, so I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a VPN. I would. I would go ahead and buy a VPN or use this free one if you're feeling okay with this one. Um, in the next video I'll do, because uh, I'm super into the privacy thing this, this week, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and go over the Tor browser, and uh, we'll look at that. Uh, this video was really off the cuff. I just had a few minutes between me loading um, Windows 10 on a bunch of boxes and whatever, so it wasn't really well produced. But thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and share it. Uh, if you think my videos are worth a buck a month, then go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon. Um, like I said, next video is on Tor, the Tor browser, and that's it for tonight. I want to get this up, so I'll talk to you guys later.